chapter 2 from verse 41 to 51. Luke 2, 41 to 51. Every year, Jesus' parents went to Jerusalem for the festival of the Passover. When he was 12 years old, they went up to the festival according to the custom. After the festival was over, while his parents were returning home, the boy stayed behind in Jerusalem, but they were unaware of it. Thinking he was in their company, they traveled on for a day. Then they began looking for him among their relatives and friends. When they did not find him, they went back to Jerusalem to look for him. After three days, they found him in the temple court, sitting among the teachers, listening to them and asking them questions. Everyone who heard him was amazed at his understanding and his answers. When his parents saw him, they were astonished. His mother said to him, Son, why have you treated us like this? Your father and I have been anxiously searching for you. Why were you searching for me? He asked. Didn't you know I had to be in my father's house? But they did not understand what he was saying to them. Then he went down to Jerusalem. Sorry. Then he went down to Nazareth with them and was obedient to them. But his mother treasured all these things in her heart. And Jesus grew in wisdom and stature and in favor with God and man. Wow. I've titled today's morning devotion, The, Mini the Missing Dog. The Missing Dog. Now, I would just like to share a little story with you. As I was walking through the park one morning, I couldn't help but notice the picture of a cute looking dog displayed at ample positions around various spots in the park. The owner was asking for help to find his missing dog. The contact of the owner and even a cash reward was advertised to encourage people to help find this lost dog. I kept thinking about the agony the owner of this dog must have experienced that led him to the extent of offering a cash reward to whosoever found the dog. These thoughts just dominated my mind as I walked through that park that day. As I kept thinking about the missing dog, I remembered the story of this Bible we read today. The 12-year-old Jesus missing in Luke chapter 2. I remembered it afresh. I kept wondering, how did the parents of Jesus feel when they realized he was missing? The Bible says they were anxiously searching for him. You know, whenever we realize we have lost something precious, what do we do? The anxious search for the thing begins. Like the parents of Jesus in this story, we are never at rest until we find the missing person or the missing item. But I'd like you to just take a closer look at the thrilling part of this story. Is the owner, that is the parents of Jesus, doing the searching? They searched for three long days before they found Jesus at the temple. I'd like you to note the fact that it's these people that are searching for Jesus. We see a similar scenario in Genesis. The Bible says in Genesis chapter 2 that God came down in the cool of the day to do what? To search for Adam. I think this is just the amazing grace of God. God is always the one taking the initiative to search for the missing person. Do you know how much God loves you? God loves his children that are lost in sin or those that are backslidden. He's constantly searching for those that are missing among his children. He puts adverts through his children that are already walking with him. 
those that are already saved, the Lord positions them around to be a to be like an example or to showcase what it means to have a relationship with God. Do you know someone around you that you admire their Christian life? God placed them in your path so you can see what he has done in their lives and you can turn to him. Adverts are great tools to help us purchase an item and own it. God can also be your friend like the Christian you admire. Why not give him a chance today? Because he's been searching for you. Perhaps you know someone that is lost in sin or backsliding into the world. Are you helping to find it if you're a Christian? Find them. Are you helping to find these missing ones? God desperately needs them back. He's anxiously searching through various means. So, I will encourage you, if you're a Christian listening to this, to join the search crew. Share the love of Christ with a sinner today. You may be the only one pointing them back to God who misses them so much. I will encourage you to study this scripture, Luke chapter 2, verse 31, 41 to 51, that we've just read. And I believe the Holy Spirit will enlighten your understanding even more. But just like the owner in that park I shared the story was looking for the missing dog, I want you to know that God is looking for you. God is looking for the backsliding ones, the ones that are lost in sin. God wants you back. He brought you into this world. He made you and it will be his earnest desire to see you come back to him not just in heaven when you are at your dying bed repenting no god wants to be your friend walk with you while you still live and help you know him deeply nothing can be sweeter than that god bless you as you give him an opportunity in your life and for those whose life are also an example to sinners around them God bless you all.